Let's add some anchor tags or some links into the navigation of our website. So first let's do um, an absolute link. Okay, so for that we do a href equals and now notice I oh, actually typed it for me. I would type I type both quotation marks right away so I don't forget the quotation mark. This is a very big reason why your website may not work. Um, so, and in there I'm going to type the entire URL for HTTPS um, stpaul.edu. I have to type the whole thing, including the HTTPS. It will not work if I just type um, stpaul.edu without the HTTPS or HTTP. Okay, so then I end that. So, um, and remember, href is an attribute, and we are assigning that attribute to be a link. Now, I also want to close out. Don't never forget to close that anchor tag. Otherwise, the entire page is a link, right? Oh, okay, so now, now I now I can type anything I want here. This is just text, so I can type Saint Paul. I can capitalize. Um, you actually can capitalize any domain name anyway, but I'm going to capitalize so it's a little easier for the user to read. I'm not going to type www or HTTPS because that's that's part of maybe part of the URL, but it's not part of what they need to see to know what they're clicking on. So I'm in fact I usually capitalize the next word so it's easier for the user. So that would be an absolute link because that we're typing the entire the entire link. Now let's do a relative link. href equals. So now the, for the relative link, I'm just going to link back to my home page. So I don't really have a home page, but every website will have a home page. So I think it's a good idea to have a link back to your home page. And your home page is always named index.html. So then we're going to close that one before we forget. And then type the word home. And that's called a relative link because it's going to look for a file in the same folder that this template that HTML is, a, a file named index.html. And last but not least, let's also make an, a mail to link. You can actually do, um, you can actually just easily make a link to open up email. So let's, let's uh, kind of close this here first. Okay, so all you do to do that, you do mail to, and that magically opens up um, whatever email client is assigned to that computer. So I would just gonna just put, put um, um, my website at, oh, actually I should have a name. I'm going to put my name at mywebsite.com. And then I, then I can actually put anything I want in here. I can just say email me, something like that. And that's how you make a mail to link. It's as simple as that. You just add the mail to before the email address and the browser isn't smart enough to know to open up the email client to generate an email. So let's kind of click on this and save here. Save. And then I'm going to um, refresh the page over here and see how it looks. And you can see it actually needs, it needs some work because it's not really very pretty yet. And it's interesting that they're different colors. But I think they're, the colors are different because one is a visited and some are not visited. I must have visited stpaul.edu. So I click on um, stpaul.edu and that opens up St. Paul College magically because my link actually works. Um, I could also click on home. It wouldn't go any place because I don't have a file there yet. Um, I could click on email me and actually I don't think it's going to work on my computer because I don't have a default email client set up. Oh, I do. So it opens up my Gmail and it lets me compose an email to this fake email address. So that's how you set up links in a website.